Some news just coming in. Phase 3 data of Covaxin has been just reviewed by the subject expert committee of the DCGI, which is a special body then to look into COVID treatments and also COVID vaccines. The procedure now is that the subject expert committee is going to be sending the data to the Drugs Controller General of India for reviewing. Bharat Biotech sources are telling India today made a presentation in which the data was presented and trials, phase 3 trials are showing 77.8% efficacy. The subject expert committee is looking at the data and the data is then going to be given to the DCGI. So this is a procedural matter, remember. This is a vaccine that has already got restricted use authorization in India. So there was no approval or disapproval associated with this meeting. It is a process that involves a review of the data before it is presented before the country. Initially, Covaxin, Bharat Biotech had not gone through this route and had given the data to the press. Sources indicate that the drugs controller had in fact mandated this information to be given to the DCGI first and then to the people of the country. Milan Sharma has more details on that story. Efficacy data 77.8%. This is a procedural matter. It's a process of data review but significant also given the fact that the WHO pre-qualification meeting is tomorrow, Milan. Yes, Neha. In fact, uh, today Bharat Biotech had submitted the phase 3 clinical data. The data is not in public domain, but this is a procedural action that had to be taken. It first went to the Drug Controller General. Uh, you have seen how they have got a review and uh, it has been moved forward uh, for that very critical EUL that is required from the WHO as well. The last time that we spoke to sources in Bharat Biotech, they had said that they had not unblinded the data by that time. And now that unblinding has happened, the data has gone through the country's drug regulator, which is the country of origin, that's India. Now they will be able to submit the data to the WHO for pre-qualification, which will allow uh, for vaccine also to be part of the vaccines that are approved by the WHO across the world. Milan, thanks for getting us up to speed with those developments.